Well, everybody, this is Fitzwalker here with Model Aviation Magazine. And today I have the old school Model Works Javelin. This is a all balsa kit running a badass 3515 motor on four cells and an 11.7 prop. So let's take her up and see how she flies. And she's up. She's got plenty of power with this prop. I can just kind of point the nose up. And she just keeps going. Doesn't look like she's going to peter out, so let me cut the power back. Come back down. This is stock control per the manual, so it's got some expo, but really it's quite nice in the how well balanced controls. Let's bring her back down here into the, into the ground. So we'll come down here, and this is about half stick. Don't have a whole lot of flights in her yet, but I'm already very comfortable and kind of throwing around the sky. Do some inverted. Just need just to touch it down. Doesn't need a whole lot of power. And look at that. Do a push over. Very nice. Sort of a, a sport high wing plane with some nice lines. It's very angular. I like angular planes. Do a little, kind of a slow roll to the right. Try another one to the left. Let's do a loop here. Look at that. Nice big loops. Try a snap. Nice snap. Not the nothing too twitchy, but. Of course, I wasn't going very fast. Let's go a little faster. There we go. That's to the left, to the right. Oh, a little faster to the right. So, of course, this is not a 3D plane. So, this is just a nice old school sport plane. <laughs> see what I did there? Yeah, it's uh, come around. Let's see. Let's explore how the, how the rudder works. See how it's a little knife edge. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's not even full rudder. The rudder is misleadingly small on this plane, but it's actually quite effective. I saw that before when I was able to do just almost rudder only turns. Let's try a knife edge in the other direction. It's a little bit of there's some throttle there. There we go. Yeah, nice. So it's definitely a plane you can have some fun with. Let's try to come up and do a stall turn. And just kick it over. Oh, very nice. Yes. And of course, you don't have to fly fast. This thing actually performs really well. Just kind of put putting around. We'll kind of do a slow. Look at that. Today is uh, pretty calm. So, and this is just. A little bit of stick, a little bit of throttle. So you can definitely slow it down. In fact, I'm going to go do a stall test. I'm going to bring it up a couple of mistakes high. All right, back off the throttle, point it into the wind. And I'll progressively add some elevator. More up, more up, more up, more up, more up. That's full up. It's got a very slight break. A little bit of a fugoid, and it just kind of picks up a little bit of speed, and you can almost land it like that. Look at that. In fact, I'm doing a little turn. I have no throttle, just a little bit of rudder, full up. I have not let up the up elevator. There we go. Look at that. Wow, supremely well behaved. That's very nice. So I'm going to pop in some flaps. So you do flapperons in this plane, so I'm going to lower the flapperons, slow her down. Bring it back up. So, still seems very well behaved, even with the flapperons. In fact, I'm going to do another stall test with flapperons. See if she does anything weird. Full up, full up. There we go. It's full up elevator. 
What about 30 degrees flap rods? Very well behaved, look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna set up for landing here. Gonna drop the flap, flap rods. Should help bleed off some speed. Come around. It maintains its momentum pretty good. There we go. Yeah, in fact, a little better than I thought. Oops. <laughs> Grass. <laughs> Came in at a little bleak angle there, so but it recovered really easily. As you can see, it it's just does a real nice flare. Almost in slow motion. And there you go, the old school Model Works Javelin. Look for my upcoming review in the next issue of Model Aviation Magazine.